Hello everybody, this is Yusuf and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make a Khoreshte Badem Jun or Khoreshte Badem John, which is eggplant stew. And eggplant is a king of vegetable and it's going to be very delicious food. And we are going to go over the ingredients with you. Uh, to make a eggplant stew, we need some meat. And here is, you can have a choice of lamb or beef and always some bones are plus because it gives you a much better taste and uh, I use l l beef and some pieces of lamb shank so this is going to be for seven to eight people for that reason I have 750 gram or one and a half pounds of beef and about three pieces of lamb shank. So if you want to make it for four people, you have to cut it down to a pound uh, or a pound and few or half a kilogram. I have about eight eggplant. These are not the size that I like to have it. You know, the, the perfect size is like this one, but it's a little bit taller, but I couldn't find, these are these were the best that I could pick. And for that reason, I have to clean them and cut them in a half and saute that and cook them with the rest of the ingredients, which we are going to over with the how to peel it and how to uh, saute that. Then I need, it's about like a three uh, tomato and one onion, which I already diced that. Need some cooking oil, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon turmeric, one stick of cinnamon, and three spoonful of tomato paste, three spoon lemon or lime juice and about four to five tablespoon of liquid zafra. Now what we have to do right now, we have to go saute the onion a little bit, then we add the meat and then we go from there. Here what I have to just heat up this pan first and put some about not too much, maybe three to four tablespoon oil. And then after it gets hot, we start saute the onion. And about like a six, seven minutes after that, as soon as the onion get translucent, then we add the meat and uh, we go from there. Alright, we're gonna leave it for just a few minutes, then we toss it around till it gets a little bit loose, then we add the meat. Alright, this is the right time to add the meat. Like about a minute and a half or two minutes later, as soon as you know, just, just the meat is turn the color and the red go away going to add the turmeric and black pepper and saute all together so it brings the taste of the real meat and also the spices give it a good aroma and black pepper. All right, we do this for about like a five or six minutes when we sure that the meat to start, you know, just 
getting completely darker color and uh, redness gone then we have to saute the tomato paste with them which is about like a about three four more minutes I'm gonna add the tomato paste all right this is the time to add the tomato paste and saute that also for another three four more minutes and I'm just gonna put this aside to add the tomato paste and mix them together They've been nicely sauteed everything including the tomato paste and it's the time to put the water I use, use hot water to so first of all the times and expedite the cooking and also it wouldn't give a shock to meat which is you know uh, that way it might getting a little bit harder this way it's gonna be very soft and nice so I'm gonna cover it with the water uh, I don't know how much gonna be I guess maybe five or six cups of water this is the boiling water right now and uh, so it's good because it covers it right now and uh, if we need to add later on yeah again we have to add the uh, hot water so now you have to leave this uh, to start boiling on a low heat for about hour and a half meanwhile we go back to the eggplant and I see how we have to clean it and saute those and then we come back and see what our meats doing while our meats are cooking we have to clean the eggplant and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave the the head on it because it keeps them together while it's cooked so it's not gonna you know just be uh, a part so this is what we have to do just trying to cut around it and take it off then we peel it completely all right they're all done as you see these are the different sizes and some of them are too big which as i said you know i did not like to be like that but this is normally what i preferred or a little bit longer and when is the sea size i'm gonna leave it like this and i saute just make a little bit cut like this and uh, just we'll cook them the way it is because this way is going to be cooked truly and the whole thing going to go through now the one that are big like this i have to cut them in a half and cook them like that so i'm going to cut most of them in a half then then we are we should put this in a salt water uh, a, a place with the water and put some salt leave it there for half an hour or so and it soaked all the uh, water from the eggplant and also the bitterness of it then we have to take it out dry it pat dry and saute so I'm gonna we are going to do that right now and we come back when we are ready for saute. Yeah. All right, this is the salt water with the salt and going to put this inside. Leave it as I said about like a half an hour and we come back and 
take them out to pat dry them for ready for saute. It has been about 35 minutes. I uh, drained the water, uh, the salt water, and washed the eggplant. Now I'm going to pat dry them, and we are going to go ahead and start sauteing them. Like this. Okay, here I put about quarter uh, cups of oil and it's already hot and we start start sauteing those eggplant. We try to cook them both sides of them. When it's ready we finish then we check on our meat to see if it's cooked then we add a couple of other things just like a cinnamon stick and also uh, some of the saffron and lime or lemon juice so while the eggplant is cooking and we go ahead and slice the a tomato but it's going to be used almost at the end these are the thickness should be okay these are ready when it's time to put them on a stew. Half of our eggplant is almost cooked and, and done. And it's about one hour that we are cooking our meat. And I think it's the time that we add the salt. and uh, lemon juice you can add more if you like you have to taste to see if it's you know getting the taste of the lemon and our cinnamon stick and our saffron so we wait till these are finished and check to see if the meat are completely done. Then we add eggplant and tomato. See you then. All the eggplants are sauteed and is ready to go to the uh, meat mixed with them and uh, choresh. And with the oil was left on this pan, I just put the tomato that I cut about maybe 30 seconds each side and that's it we leave it like that and then I show you when is the time to put it on a stew while the meat is cooking and I finish the eggplant and tomato I'm just gonna start making our uh, rice if you don't have the how to make the Persian basmati rice you can click below our food is almost done. It's the last uh, stage that we're gonna put that uh, eggplant and tomato into the stew for another 10 minutes. Then we can serve the food. The meat is ready, done. It looks beautiful, nice. And this is the time. What we're gonna do, we are going to put all in one side because these are already cooked the only thing has to be get the taste of the 
eggplant and the eggplant get the taste of the stew. As I said, only 10 more minutes and all is done. Okay, my friends, we all done. And this is the final production of the Horest Bottom June. It looks wonderful, tastes great, and it always goes uh, with the basmati rice and uh, accompany with the salad shirazi, cucumber, onion, tomato, olive oil, lime, salt and pepper. We do have some tadik with the potato and I thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed and I wish you make one and let me know Thank you so much again. Till next time. Bye.